Hi, today I'm going to do the look that I did on Kendall Jenner for the December issue of US Vogue. It was a really smudgy, glossy, quite grungy, smoky eye, so quite black and very, very shiny. As it was an editorial look, so they don't often translate to real life, I'm going to show you three different ways to do it today. So something that's more practical and also show you how to get the glossy version as well, if you'd prefer that. I have a beautiful model today. Her name is Doina and she's a fashion blogger actually from Moldova. So I'm going to start by using Double Wear Light Foundation. And Doina, you've got amazing skin, so you hardly need any foundation. But in this editorial, the skin was really even toned so that the base was really important. So I'm just going to use a light layer all over just to get that impeccable, flawless, even skin tone. So on to highlight, I'm going to use Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl, which is a big old favourite of mine. I haven't used it for a while, actually. And the highlighting in this story was really important. There was a lot of highlighting or strobing as they call it now which is basically highlighting so a lot on the upper cheeks it was really kind of blended well into the base and just pat it into place there and then I did a lot down the center of the nose center of forehead it was a really kind of glowy skin center of lips so on to concealer, I'm going to use this bourgeois one, which is called Radiance Reveal. Look up for me. And just buff under eyes. I'm also going to blend that in a little bit with the highlighter. This is slightly lighter than doing a skin tone. So again, it's giving that really highlighty effect. And then just blending those edges. So we get more of a highlighted cheek area I'm just really lifting those shadows okay so I'm going to leave the skin for now but I'm going to come back to it later because we're going to do a lot more highlighting so I'm going to actually go on to brows next and I'm not going to do too much with the brows because you've got fantastic brows so Doina when did you start blogging I started blogging in high school actually when I was about 16 years old. Oh really? Uh, but it only really became my full-time job once I moved to London just because oh. I started it in Moldova where there is no fashion industry and then you come to London and obviously it's the fashion capital so it's a lot more different, a lot more inspiration. Yeah, oh fantastic. And I'm just going to put a touch of brow fixative on this is gel just to celebrate the fabulousness of these eyebrows. So onto eyes, I'm going to start by using this colour tattoo, which is a cream eyeshadow in black, and buffing that over Doina's eyelid. Now the eye look I did was really black, really greasy, and quite smudgy and grungy. So I'm going to show you various degrees of it, because obviously a very glossy eye is not that practical in real life. Um, but I'll show you the kind of basics and then you can either dial up or dial down. So I'm just keep going over the same, just building up and building up. And when I get to the outer edge, if you just look straight ahead for me, Doina, I'm just going to take exactly the same colour and product underneath. You just start to build that firstly at the outer edge because it gives you a good guideline of where your kind of shape's going to be coming up onto the lid there. And then if you look all the way up, darling, I'm just going to go along underneath and really buff the colour here. This is all going to be smudged in later. I'm just getting my basic colour on. While we're there, I'm going to use the black pencil. Look up for me. This is the Steeler black pencil. And then going along the upper lash line. Exactly the same. And while I've still got my brush with the cream black on close, I'm going to smudge all of that in. So you've got a really dense, dark kind of area close to the lashes. So I'm just applying a small amount of mascara and that's all I did on Kendall because she has the most 
insanely thick and long eyelashes, exactly like you, Doina. You're blessed, naturally blessed. Um, but if you're not so naturally blessed, then put plenty of black mascara on with this look. So as you can see, the black, the coal is starting to smudge now underneath and move around, which I really like. There comes a point though, obviously, when you don't want it to smudge any more. So a good tip is just to put a tiny bit of powder now at the outer edge of that, and that will kind of stop it from continuing its journey, if you like, all the way down. Let's do some contouring. If you just turn slightly to the side, I'm just gonna go gently along between those cheekbones there and just really blend. What sort of design, who's your favorite designer, which are your favorite shops to feature? It's quite a tough question, but I would say my favorite designer is Phoebe Philo oh, yeah. uh, from Celine. Mm. Classic. But, uh, yeah, but um, normally on my blog, I try to feature both luxury brands and high street fashion, just so kind of everyone can recreate the looks I wear. Yeah, I like to do that here as well. I like to have a mixture of kind of high street, because that's it makes it fun as well, I think, when you're mixing, you know, a little bit of everything from the high street and then more expensive, and it just shows, I think it's more creative as well. This is my brush that I blend my foundation. There's hardly anything left on it. But I'm just gonna take that kind of over the edge there, just to make sure that everything is super well blended, seamless, and we don't see any kind of lines. I'm so going to do a last bit of highlighting with one of these hourglass strobing powders, and this is called Brilliant Strobe Light. So just look to the side. I'm just going to use a fan brush for this. This is a really sheer powder. Almost feels like a light kind of gel, almost transparent. And just start to kind of pump up that beautiful luminosity there. And then a tiny bit down the center of the face, so just a little bit. Center of nose, brush onto lips, touch on the center of the forehead. So it's just getting that nice fine line between sort of looking too glittery and too shiny. So before I finish eyes, we're going to do lips. I'm gonna start by using a nude lip pencil. This is um, Subculture by MAC. So just buffing in those around the edges. I'm gonna go all over the lips with it. You did a little bit of balm earlier on, so lips are slightly moisturized. Just smile like this, perfect. And the color wasn't really very much more than that, so it's quite a nude lip. But I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more color on with this matte balm. This is a little bit more peachy. It's a really lovely color. So obviously in the editorial, this really greasy black eye, and I used um, something like a MAC face gloss, or you could even just use a lip gloss. And what I did was I kind of built up that black cream shadow and added grease, so it became very kind of grungy and, um, started to really kind of separate and get very lived in. Um, that's a look, and obviously it's an editorial look, so I'm gonna show you different ways that's more more wearable, really. What you could do is you could go back in with your highlighter, so something like a highlighting powder that maybe you've used on your face. If you close for me, and what this does, actually I'll do it on here, is it gives you a kind of slightly more glossy looking lid, but it's obviously more long lasting. Or you could use something like this, which is a really sheer and quite wet look looking cream shadow, but it's quite dry. Close for me, darling. You could pop this over the top and this gives more of a kind of wet look feel, but it won't get messy and it will stay put. Or if you're feeling very adventurous, you could just go ahead and actually apply a gloss. Um, I wouldn't put too much on because it will get really kind of kind of messy looking quite quickly, but a little bit in the center does look really, really beautiful. And you don't have to use as much um, as I used on Kendall to still get a really lovely effect. And then underneath, 
Again, you could just use something like the cream shadow. Or if you're a bit more adventurous and you want to go for the full gloss underneath, mainly concentrate kind of close to the lash line because it'll work its way down and give you that really kind of glossy, separated, lived in look. But I think that's a finished look. Three different ways to kind of wear it. And um, what do you think? Do you think you'd wear that look to go out? Oh, I really love it. I think you look beautiful. Can I you love have you. an event tonight? <laughs> yes, you really need to go to out. It. You have to go I out need now. To, at least selfies. Definitely. I love you with those smoky eyes. You look gorgeous. Thank you so much for being my beautiful model today.